what is up back in the game with another reaction video this is called red pill yeah anyways um this is called red pill tiktok compilation volume 15 i ain't going nowhere i just saw and i clicked it you know what i'm saying that's to me i just don't i, I don't know man it's just like i <laughs> i'm not I ain't trying to get canceled or anything like that but it's just like i, I guess i could say i'm like a red pill red pill but i'm just like what sinkful said like uh, i'm just doing me i you know what i'm saying I mean, yeah anyways the original link for this will be down below huge appreciation like comment subscribe and share yes sir if you take the blue pill yes i'm hot as fuck i'm here to talk to all of the teenage boys that are watching to talk about why it is so important for all of us to be feminist <laughs> I'm Desmond. I'm 11 years old. Also, <clears throat> we need God. People need to find God. Take the red pill. Let me tell you something you already know. I like, I, I like how you did that. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Red, red pill, blue pill. The world ain't all sunshine and rainbows. It's a very mean and nasty place, and I don't care how tough you are, it will beat you to your knees and keep you there permanently if you let it. Mm -hmm. A real man in the dark, when nobody's watching, he put me in work. Our deepest fear is not that we are inadequate. Our deepest fear is that we are powerful beyond measure. Yes, sir. Embrace masculinity. think y'all heard that hold on i think y'all missing out probably you got some you know some something in your ear but uh, i'll replay it hold on I wanna... yeah, why reject though my soulmate everything was fine except yeah he was too nice too nice you know what i'm saying <laughs> you know what i'm saying it ain't coming from me that was coming from her that's what she said so, is she lying? No. Hmm. Are you into assholes or nice guys? Assholes, for sure. Assholes, assholes. What do you like about assholes? You know, it's not like I don't get the appeal, right? Like, I get it. It's uh, it's a thrill. It's the roller coaster of emotions. It's the uncertainty, right? It's all the fun that having uh, an asshole. Yeah, it's like that. It, it, it's like a mystery. It, it's just like. Obviously, you've heard this many times. They just want somebody to protect them when it comes to it. You know what I'm saying? Like they always say, you gotta be by the, you gotta be by the street while well, they be on the right side of you. If anything happens, you protect. You know what I'm saying? That's why I know you know they don't like that word alpha, but that's what it is at the end of the day. You are the protector. You are the shield. If anything goes wrong, you are there. It's just like point simple. <laughs> but yeah. It's 2022 Gen Z. Asshole of a boyfriend uh, comes with. But you know what is also a roller coaster of a ride and totally uncertain? A divorce. <laughs> Except that part, I guarantee you, won't be as fun. <laughs> and you know, I think if you're in your dating stage, I think it's fine for you to go date assholes, right? Live a little, have fun, you know, experience. But just don't marry assholes. Or if you do, mm. don't expect that it'll also come with stability and happy ending because you can't have it both ways <laughs> hmm. what y'all think what what happened Cause hey shot to this man right here yo sir there's nothing happened i just got bored okay okay how about you yeah what happened i get i lose interest too quick uh -huh. yeah so i visited university of oh yeah she drunk as hell but what i was just saying like it's just that thing it's the mis mysteriousness the alpha mysteriousness like you you don't know what he's gonna do type shit like uh, I'm, you know i'm talking about that you know positive type of shit but not like that crazy lunatic shit but it's just like you know as they say spicing up the relationship or some whatever yeah. in florida but i was dating someone at home and i cheated on my boyfriend yeah. they made money bro they car they house their energy yeah their motivation waste their time their face waste their time By Cheated? For sure. I have, yes. <laughs> yes. Absolutely. I have. <laughs> but majority of them are, you know, 
single. So, hey, yo, did y'all watch that podcast, uh, Fresh and Fit, <laughs> where DJ Academics was there, Sneeko? That, that shit was crazy as hell, man. I know that's kind of like off topic, but it's just like, I was just thinking about that when I was just watching this. Because I remember when Sneeko was watching to these compilations where somebody like him, for example, will be interviewing people like her, asking her like questions about, you know, type shit. So, yeah. <laughs> Today's toxic feminist is a woman that wants the power of a man, the privileges of a woman, but the responsibility of neither. Hmm. Okay. Man, it's knowledgeable. Look out the books in the background. God damn. Women are suffering in the absence of a strong man. Like Andrew Tate's being canceled, his team just by saying, hey, man, let's be strong and look after ourselves and leave us alone to protect others. If Kristen doesn't want that much of an outrage, then that creates independent people that can look after themselves and take care of themselves. Have to suckle on the teats of Big Pharma to stay alive. And no one wants misogyny. So now I'm just wondering if Kristen Trump will be honest. Those accusations as the lamp with which to uh, temporarily draw men in. Look, we're in a world that's largely without people. I ain't gonna lie. I, it it, it kind of like it, it puts happiness in my face where I see like Gen Z's are actually talking about this too. Even though I'm a Gen Z, but I'm like that mix of Gen X and Gen Z. But people like who are younger than me is just like it. Bravo, she. I, I think, I, yeah, I've seen this before, where some girl was just like, like, you're not cute. I don't know what she said, but she was being mad disrespectful. I think that's the video. Okay, do girls ever stop and think, wait, this is a genuinely good guy trying to be his best to give me the world. I need to stop playing games and keep him around. No, they don't think that. They don't. They think you too nice, or they say things along the lines of, oh, I just don't know what it is about him, but he just don't do it for me. But this still ain't finna be a video about, you know, girls don't like nice guys, or nice guys finish last. Nah, fuck that. You see, I learned a long time ago, everything requires balance. You can't be too nice, and you can't be too much of an asshole. So what is it that I do? I be a gentleman, I treat these women to an experience, I always date them, but I'm always willing to walk away. And that alone will set you aside from the rest of the dudes she talks to mm. easily. And at mm. the same time, she gonna know not to play with me. Am I gonna yell at her? Nope. Am I gonna argue with her? Mm-mm. Am I gonna put my hands on her? Nope. Mm -mm. You just don't give a fuck. You just gonna leave, you know what I'm saying? You just simply have the ability to walk away. You just say same. what you mean and Simple. stand on what you say. Your words and your actions must hold value. Mm -hmm. Now remember, a fool has to say With great power comes great responsibilities you know what i'm saying you hear that many times but people just don't understand what that uh what that means something a wise man has something to say you get what i'm saying now that's how you do that one you treat them to experience you be a gentleman but at the same time you don't let them fucking play with you mm. something about a man that's on his purpose and ain't scared to walk away that turns a woman on oh yeah that's all you gotta do be a gentleman but let her ass know you ain't the one to play with. Mm -hmm. And you don't. You could be Yon Chauffeur uh, one day, but you gotta be that Lupin. If you know Lupin, that's one of like the. Um, I think it was a French guy. He was known for like stealing. But I don't mean like you should go out there and steal, but just use that as a metaphor. Like Lupin was a very intelligent stealer. Like he was a, gen he was a gentleman, but at the same time. He knows what he was doing when it came to stealing shit. <laughs> but anyway, see ya. You don't do that by talking. You don't do that by telling them. You do that shit by standing on what the fuck Shout you say and always Shout to that show away. Lupin oh, my mama. on Netflix, by the way. Look, bro, I don't know what y'all need to hear this, but just because you leave niggas on fucking deliver, bro, this shit don't make you cool. This shit don't make you a celebrity. It don't make you none of that, bro. I don't know why y'all niggas, y'all operate like that. That's not the fucking case. You not nobody special. You a regular, regular, everyday motherfucking average person. Fuck out of here. <laughs> Man. Those dating opportunities for men are decreasing. I know I keep reading it. You know, I love reading shit. 
Study shows dating opportunities for men are increasing as more healthy relationship standards arise. Okay. As more healthy relationships. This is not the flex that y'all think it is. Because the men that y'all think that this affect or the men that y'all think this is going to hurt or the men that y'all think that this is going to change are not looking for relationships, nor are they looking for dating options. These men are looking to fuck and take whatever they can from you before you even mention the word relationship. But the men that it does affect is the men that actually want relationships, men who actually looking to date for marriage and men who actually want to take you and your time seriously. But seeing that most of y'all women are laughing and joking and think this is a game, all that shows them is that y'all not ready for that mature relationship that y'all say y'all want. Mm. So continue laugh and think that this is true about the men. At the end of the day, they be the first one laughing. The last one, I ain't gonna say that because you know, but you know, the last one was the last one crying. But whatever, you, you, you know what I mean that you're trying to change and those men are going to continue doing what they've been doing throughout the ages which was fucking you and leaving you <laughs> the truth hurts worser than the lie fellas if you do this one thing no girl is ever going to respect you i don't care if she's your wife i don't care if you're dating her i don't care if she's your girlfriend listen up if you put your girl first before anything else in your life, you already lost, bro. Mm. I know plenty of guys who gave up going to a great school or pursuing their passion and purpose in life just to be closer with their girlfriend and sacrifice their entire dream just to make it work with their girl, only to regret it. In I don't keep pausing a lot, but like, I'm not gonna, it's based on my thoughts, right? What women want from a man is basically someone who's financial, financially stable, alpha. I like alpha, yeah. Mature, like type shit. Like mature, financially stable, alpha. And um, yeah. There's more, but that was just like the three things that kind of you know came up to my mind right now. So. In the end, not only does the relationship not work out. She loses respect for you because she says one thing and a woman means the other. It's almost as if, if you have to go to war, right, and fight for what you believe in or fight for your country and your wife or your girl tells you, no, I want you to stay. I don't want you to get killed or hurt. And if you change your mind and you say, you know what? Yeah, I am going to stay. I I'm going to be with you, babe. You're right. You already lost, bro. She will lose respect for you. You go out and you fight for what you believe in. You go out and you risk your life. You fight that war. Mm. You fight that battle. You pursue your purpose, your passion in life. Stop putting your girl first, bro. That's not how it works as a masculine alpha man. We don't put anyone else first besides God. That is it. Ain't no girl ever gonna come first in my fucking life, bro. And I don't care what anyone says, if you judge me, if you don't, God comes first, and then I come second. That's how you, that's how it should work as a fucking man, bro. If you guys put your girl first before all your passion, your purpose, everything else in life, she will fucking lose respect for you, bro. She will dry up quicker than my grandmother's Thanksgiving fucking turkey last year. So you guys better fucking listen to this advice and stop listening to what women say because I know how women work. They say they want the nice guy, then they don't want the nice guy. They say they want this, then they want the opposite. Women don't know what they fucking want. Stop listening to what comes out of their fucking mouth and start observing their actions. Because there's a difference, bro. Learn from my mistake. Man, speaking bars, man. Look, I know I'm a spiritual guy. I don't mean by, like, religion purposes, but there are certain things that I might, you know, say differently from what he says but at the same time they kind of come together if you know what i mean just like you know how some people believe in gods right as they say there's gods within us you know goddesses and stuff like that too so you got that energy you are are the higher self basically what i'm trying to say is go go with what you believe what you trust with your gut instinct don't let people change your mind
it's just like be you my guy be an alpha or if you keep just saying yeah i agree i agree you turn into a beta but anyways yo i just wanted to i know i was just talking random and shit but like i'm just gonna you know end it here for right now part two will be like probably you know a few days from now or probably next week i don't know but anyways the original link for this will be down below a huge appreciation like i said this guy was dropping gem all these people are actually dropping gems too man i liked it so yeah original link for this red pill tiktok compilation volume 15 down below all that positive energy yes sir